I can remember when I was little, um, I always wanted the Sharpies. Like all, I, when I was preparing for school, I would always go to Walmart and I'd be like, or the, the store, and I'd be like, Mom, I want all the colors. I want all the crayons. I don't just want the four pack. I want the 64 pack. And that was for the crayons, the Sharpies, and, and even like in planes when I was little, I would draw in those drawing books. and. And growing up, I just always had an interest in art and, and what the world has to offer in different forms of art. And I think that's kind of how it started. Is for me, it was it was always the different kinds of color and the different kinds of shapes. And and I'm a I'm a really deep thinker. So seeing all of that, I thought beyond that, and I wanted to learn more about it. And when I first, uh, you know got the offer from WSU, I thought about going into you know, a minor in art history or something so I could learn more about art in general, but um, I decided to go to communications instead. But it's still a passion of mine, it's still a side hobby, and it's something that you know, I, I do in my spare time. I still go to Walmart and I, I buy supplies to you know, paint, and it may not be the best type of painting, and it may not be the best art, but for some reason, it's my escape, and it allows me to um, relax and and l let my mind, you know, get off of all the stressful things that do sometimes accompany being a student athlete. For me, my biggest inspiration is kind of just echoing, in a way, what I see around me. So when I think, I try to be creative in my art, and and I think that that's how I kind of grew into loving fashion more than anything, and like investing myself into into seeing like someone wear a top and then like mixing mixing and matching it with what I have or what I could or what I could buy with that top and, and kind of putting it into my own style and so um, I don't think it's a specific topic or a specific person I model when it comes to art but it's kind of like seeing pieces whether that be in just fashion or or art pieces or, or architecture around the world like just seeing pieces that I like and kind of you know identifying those pieces and saying oh I really love that and I really want to somehow incorporate that into my life. Washington State has given me a huge opportunity to pursue my love for art and fashion not because I decided to pursue it in the education aspect as it's not my major or my minor but it has allowed me to meet a whole nother set of new people and new cultures and, and allow me to expand my mind and my ideas and what I love and my creativity beyond just myself. And I've had a, I had a huge opportunity this past summer and I had the chance to study abroad in London for three weeks because I had a return for summer workouts. But that was the best experience that I could have possibly asked for because WSU gave me that opportunity and I, I got to go over and experience and, and, and the, the world that London offers and you know their architecture and the people and it's always been a love of mine and always been a goal of mine to you know travel the world and be able to meet all these new people and experience all these different cultures and eat their food and you know everything that accompanies it so to be able to go over there and, and not go with the WCU faculty group, but you know, go through a provider program and meet all these new students from all these universities across the US and, and people from London. It allowed me to expand my mind and my creativity there too as well. And so that was a huge opportunity and a huge experience. And WCU gave me that, it gave me that chance to do that. So I'm not really aware that I am the Russell Westbrook of the team, honestly, because there's so many different cultures on our team, I feel like, and so a lot of people view fashion and view, you know, what's cute and what's, <laughs> what's not in, in terms of clothing a lot different the, differently than I feel like Americans would. But um, that is a huge compliment to me because I take a lot of value in how I, how I look and how I dress. and. Um, I think it's huge in first impressions, so, but to be able to be labeled that is just is such an honor and I'm humbled if my teammates truly think of me like that. My name is Alexis Sweenland and I'm a senior from Rapid City, South Dakota.